What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Rob and Alex here ready to react to Lucifer season two, episode number 11. In the last episode, it was that huge court case dealing with Chloe's uh, father's murderer. And we found out before this that it was the warden, right, of the prison? Yes. And unfortunately by the end of this episode, because Lucifer decided to testify, but his mom was the lawyer. She really, she kind of on a whim took to that role very well and uh, knew how to kind of break it down and showed him up in the courtroom. And, and I mean, it also didn't help that she manipulated and slept with Dan in order to get the information. Yes. That she, that she needed to like dismantle their case. Yeah, due to that, and Chloe and Dan falsifying the actual records, it did not help whatsoever. So Lucifer's mom ended up winning the court case. Dude was set free. But Dan uh, actually became sort of a badass in the end, working with Maze and feeding him to the Russians. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So Dan is a little less douchey this episode. Uh, Amenadiel also was kind of a piece of shit to Maze. Uh, uh, yeah, to Maze. And uh, tried to give her flowers. But then he ran into Chloe's mom. And when he came face to face with her, he recognized her from apparently years ago. And when he confronted his mom about it, he had mentioned that God sent him down there to grant a miracle. And that miracle was Chloe. So now, according to at least Lucifer's mom, we know why Lucifer is so, I guess, protective of her and feels she's special because, you know, she is, right? She's basically God's gift, almost, at least to Lucifer. And I guess she's uh, she feels that they, they could use that to their advantage and says she's the key in, for getting back into heaven. No idea where that's going to go, but she's such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, but um, just to go back a little bit to um, to Dan again, like she she manipulated him by sleeping with him. Right. So she can dismantle their case. And then at the end, she implied that she wanted to that, she, that uh, they were gonna uh, sleep together again, and Dan did not seem to have any problems with it. I mean, he would he was just manipulated, like openly, yeah. like she told she outright told him that she used sex to to uh, to take advantage of him, and then and like he he still seemed to be into it. Yeah, shame on Dan. <laughs> but. Then we get to Lucifer and Chloe. Chloe obviously very destroyed from the whole court case. Uh, I'm not sure if she knows what happened with the warden. You think she knows that Dan went to go and handle things? Uh, I, I doubt she knows. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't remember her like him mentioning it. Like, did he mention it in the car? Don't say anything to Chloe. I don't remember that. I mean, do, do you think he wants Chloe to know that he used the Russian mob to take out the warden? I don't know. Probably not. But, uh, yeah, she went over to Lucifer's place. They went to kind of... He, he wanted to repay her for the dinner, and we kind of ended there. Them kind of flirting and just about to kiss. I'm guessing when we open up here, something happens to where they don't. But, but uh, yeah, they're like face to face. Been waiting for this moment for a while. Can't wait to see it. Something's probably gonna happen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's just uh, jump right in. Season two, episode one of Lucifer. Wait, episode one. Let's say episode, episode one. Twelve. Episode eleven. <laughs> eleven. <laughs> Season two, episode eleven of Lucifer. I am. What? 
Well, I, I got your burgers and fries, but I forgot the ketchup. <sighs> I hate ketchup. <laughs> Foolish condiment. This is your flight attendant speaking. Please huh? buckle up. Great timing. Jana. I didn't know you were expecting company. I wasn't. I. She's welcome to join if she's game. <laughs> no, detective, I have no idea that Jana was coming over. She just kept me from making a big mistake. God detective. damn it. I'm afraid this flight's grounded. Bitch, read Can you a room. Not read the room? Like, seriously. <laughs> No idea you were so concerned about LA's water shortages. Oh, yeah, wrong side. Someone got his ass. Yeah. Monkey, go get your backpack. I'm good. I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone told me he died this morning. I heard. I mean, why aren't you happy? Your father's killer finally got what he deserved. What Perry Smith deserved was to rot in jail for the rest of his life. Whoever did this is no better than he was. What the hell? Whoa. What the hell? That is not how I eat cereal. <laughs> Lucifer, there's something very important we need to discuss. New visitors policy, hot women turning up unannounced are no longer welcome, especially those who are secretly my mother. Well, I think you'll make an exception when you hear what I have to say. Well, spit it out. I don't have an eternity here. Oh, yes, actually, I do. I just want you gone. It's about Chloe. What is it, Mum? I... was wrong. I wanted to prove to you that Chloe wasn't worthy of you. I gave her every incentive to turn on you. But she didn't. I'm starting to understand what you see in her. Don't buy it. But, uh, regardless... When are we going to get to the part where you tell him you want to Why use her? I don't know what happened between you two. But I do know that Chloe proved herself to you. Go if fuck you yourself. Time, you went a little too far to the other side her. here. You don't have to prove anything to me. Well, normally I would agree with you, but you insist on letting an impossibly attractive flight attendant come between us, and not in the fun way. <laughs> this for we are very different people with very different personalities, and I'm not judging. I'm a homicide detective, not the slut police, and I mean you, not her. <laughs> That's not fair. Not my business if it did. No, but what I'm saying is things have changed now since we had our moment. We didn't have a moment. Yes, we did. And yes, I they did. You, come detective. on. I... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Timing could not be worse here. Oh no, Jana. So a woman showed up to your house for sex and you barely knew her. Of course that's what happened. Guilty as charged. Jana left five minutes after you did, alive. I believe you, but can anyone else confirm your story? Oh, I was with 300 of my closest strangers in Lux. I went to the bar right after she left. Well, what about the five minutes before she left? Are you jealous, detective? No. You're just trying to piece together a timeline. A lot can happen in five minutes. You can't be suggesting that, that you slept with her. I'm not. No, then I'm a two pump chump. We slept together. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. You see this? We're basically famous. Maybe you don't say that out loud. Yeah. You brag about what we did in a police precinct? Dude, chill. I just came to get my check. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought that we could uh, celebrate our righteous kill. <laughs> we didn't kill anyone, okay? We just we gave karma justice a little nudge. Oh, is that what we're calling the Russian mob now? <laughs> Come on, let's grab some vodka. We'll make it a thing. Denise, we're not having a drink. We shouldn't even be seen together until all this blows over. Do you get it? Calm down. Trying to blend in. Well, it's not it does. To break out the linen. <laughs> Speaking of style, I'm you have to walk everywhere looking like a fucking cop. Yeah, <laughs> I would really try to place together. Hey, are you a stripper? I'd recommend you stop talking now. <laughs> Jana Lawrence was found murdered this morning. She was my stewardess on my flight yesterday, so. So you sent her a threatening text, ditch the loser from Lux. Yeah, she said she was hooking up with some DJ named Lucifer. DJ, how dare you? <laughs> Meet me now or else. Yeah, or Best else. Best party takes offense. This is shut off. 
No mas. Look, is there anyone who can prove you not having sex? Oh, I had sex. Me, Sharon. <laughs> hey, Lucifer. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. She can attest to my whereabouts all night long, and she can too. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to go somewhere where you two are not. The victim was in the shower when he was killed. Signs of a struggle. Looks like he was tortured, too. So, Jana's killer had it in for this poor chap as well, did they? On the upside, looks like you didn't have anything to do with this case after all. Pretty sure you didn't sleep with this guy. Ah, uh, actually, <laughs> you're wrong about that, detective. <laughs> Raj. What if one of them got jealous, wanted you all to themselves? Well, you think one of my exes is killing off the others? Look, I've seen what your exes are capable of. Charlotte Richards, to name one. Bloody hell, for the last time, she is not an ex. Either way, we should warn them that they could be in trouble. While Dan's looking into other connections between our victims, we should talk to anyone you slept with. Oh, that's a brilliant plan. Hot pants! Uh, no Holy pants. shit. Hot yeah, like I said, this is gonna take a while. You slept with all of them? Yes, bit of a dry spell the last couple of months. <laughs> oh, that's, time, that's a dry spell for this friend. And people will go to crazy lengths for the ones they love. Even if they're the ones who suggested the split. And still have feelings even though they shouldn't. What on you okay? earth are you talking about? <laughs> Jealous? Why? Well, because he basically used you for sex and moved on. Did that bother you? I knew what I was in for. And what were you in for? The best night of my life. The best night of my life. The best night of my life? The best night of my life. The best night of my life. I mean, I certainly wouldn't hurt anyone over him. What? No. Uh -oh. There was no reason to hurt anyone. I mean, he was just a meaningless one night stand. Mm. It was just about sex. It's just sex. It's just sex. There was no emotional connection. That was it. It was fun. Now he's going to start taking it. Completely meaningless. Yeah. Just fun. But meaningless. Meaningless. It meant nothing. Nada. I never saw him again. See where I'm going with this? I actually wanted to speak with you. Why? Wait a minute. Why is she here? I don't know. I keep telling the detective. She's not my ex. I wanted to tell you that you impressed me. Really? Yeah. Mm. You took that case just to try and get me to call Lucifer a liar in court. True, but I would never hurt Lucifer. I was trying to prove that you weren't worthy of him. I see. I'm glad he found someone. He deserves a woman like you in his life. Don't get too excited, dude. It's all bullshit. Have you from slept her. with him yet? What? See? You're different. Hey, listen, man, you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna tell Chloe. I mean, Charlie, right? Well, as long as nope, she might to never touch Charlotte again. It's not a problem. Well, the last thing I need is a step down. <laughs> <laughs> you say some really weird things, man. <laughs> not as weird as you think. You can't rely on others to validate you. I don't care what anyone thinks of me. Of course you do. We all do. You know, and that's okay. You're saying I'm awesome. I'm saying that you need to say that you're awesome. Believe. That you're awesome. Yes, you're awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. LAPD, anyone home? This is a uh, creepy fuck? home. That's uh, pretty terrifying. See? I told you someone cared. <laughs> Why am I on this wall? Well, maybe she can just sense the inevitable. <laughs> Suki Price, LAPD. What are you doing in my. Ah! Lucifer! Okay, well, hey, I... hey. <laughs> this is one of your exes? Do you know, I'm really not sure. I... Darling, could you do this? And say, <laughs> I am not a croc. He slept with someone in a no, Richard Nixon, Nixon, Nixon costume. Nixon. I'm quite certain we've not slept together. I'm just really into Lucifer. Uh, and who could blame you? 
back. I see what's happened here. Not having sex with me drove her into a murderous, psychotic rage. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? We're investigating the deaths of Jana Lawrence and Raj Donier. You heard of them? I have all of Lucifer's lovers categorized. Wow. Uh, uh, that's a pilot Jana works with. Those three hang out together all the time. Maybe he knows what happened. Yeah, I got it. It's oh, I haven't seen a minute deal in a while. No. What the fuck? That has to be hard for him to watch. Yeah, you want me to <laughs> like, he can just see it on his face. <laughs> this espresso concoction is my favorite thing about humanity so far. Besides sex. Yes. You're looking well these days. <laughs> so confident, so cheery. I've tried to manipulate Lucifer before. It didn't end well. That's because you lied to him. Lucifer respects the truth. So use that to get us all home, and then we can put all of this behind. Yeah, tell him that you're manipulating him and Chloe to get together. Yeah. Lucifer, why are you the thinking? fuck? Well, I'm pondering hey, he said girl. that he needed I mean, to get there fast. Is the infatuated with me is someone who doesn't even know me. No, this is why you're gonna get killed. No, we're gonna <laughs> catch our killer detective. Thank God, you're a cop. I was afraid you were trying to kill me. What? I only know him as Bert. Guy smuggles a lot of drugs into the country. So were you moving product for him? No, he uses young women like Jana to mule. He recruits them on the party circuit in Malibu, offers them cash, free travel, whatever they desire. On Jana's last flight, a package went missing. A package? So what, Bert thought Jana stole it? And when she didn't have it, he went after Raj, and now me. Is there any way to get a hold of this guy? I got a bullseye painted on my back. Why the hell would I want to? Hmm. I'm in. Okay, but you understand what you're agreeing to, right? Sure. You want me Maze to buy this bird scumbag and pretend to deliver his package? But we'll need you to work with us on this one. We'll set up the meet and everything. Do I That's still not going to go well. Up before the cops do? <laughs> we'll be close by, <laughs> but technically, yeah. More in. You want to know why? Because we're running out of time and you're our only option? No. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> because I take gifts from my friends and I don't need your thanks. Damn. Why are you sitting so close? The killer won't show up with this reese at the setup. Exactly. If we were strangers, you'd be hitting on me. You need to own up to what you did. Yeah, be proud of it. Shit. Uh, Maze, we talked about this, and besides... Self-worth comes from within, Dad. I think I'm good, thank you. I don't think you are. I think you'd feel a lot better if you just came clean. Uh, don't. Shut the fuck if up. <laughs> say, I will. Maze. For your own good. Don't say another word. Why? So what if you slept with Charlotte Richards? Dan slept with Sean. <laughs> Lucifer is disgusted by that as I am. Is there anyone who hasn't slept with that woman? Uh. <laughs> Which is hard to believe since you've slept with everyone else in LA. Well, everyone except you, detective. Right now, all I'm concerned about is proving my worth to you. Unless, of course, you've changed your mind about the sex. Okay, there will be no sex. As far as our so called moment, I let my emotions get the best of me the other night, okay? I made a mistake. You and me, it's not happening. Oh, shit. We have to accept, Lucifer, that we are very different people with very different priorities. And my priority right now is this case, okay? So, just step outside and get some air. I don't need air. Well, Why? I do. Right. Damn. Understood. Because you know you had a moment. You know you feel stuff. Yeah, and this is this is happening because of Dan sleeping with Charlotte. Yeah. And Chloe hearing about it. Dan just entered the bar. Gotcha. You are one of the prettiest flight attendants I've ever seen. I'm Bert. Hi, Bert. You ready for takeoff? Jesus. <laughs> I know we killed a flight attendant and her friend, dirtbag. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. oh God. Some guy gave me a C note, told me to sit next to you and say I was burned. Shit. God damn it. If that's not our killer, then where is he? 
What the fuck? I believe you have something that belongs to me. But, I presume. Where's the man that paid you? I don't know. He saw some tall guy with dark hair in a suit. He took off. It's Lucifer. Yeah. I want my package. <laughs> now. Should have known Jana left it with you after I saw her looks. That's why she was only there a few minutes. Stash it. No. The reason that she left so quickly was because she was unhappy that I didn't have sex with her. Yeah, I don't believe you. I don't have it. Liar. It's my ass on the line in that stupid bitch, Jenna. Well. This did not go quite the way he planned. And you don't speak of her that way. It's been a while since he's done that. <laughs> There's your killer, detectives. I think you'll find he feels quite remorseful about the life he's led. Please, okay, please, just, just arrest me, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> How? How did you find me? I'm sorry, I took it. I was desperate. Who the fuck is I'm that? I'm broke. When the stewardess let him slip about how much cash she was gonna make from this delivery, I... I was gonna sell them. And I opened it. One of them broke. What the hell was that? What the hell is happening to me? Great question. Hey, I've been looking for you everywhere. I tracked your phone's GPS. Well... Here I am. I had a, an epiphany of sorts. You deserve someone worthy of you, and that isn't me. You deserve someone better. Because you, detective, are selfless to a nauseating degree. <laughs> you always put your daughter first, even though the ungrateful urchin does nothing to contribute to the rent. <laughs> so, you deserve someone worthy of that grace. Someone who actually appreciates your possibly boring middle name Jane <laughs> more importantly detective you deserve someone as good as you because well you're special and I'm I'm not worth it yeah you're probably right Detective. What the fuck? All right, that was season two, episode number eleven of Lucifer. Uh, very frustrating ending in there, because <laughs> I mean, come on, like you see this shit happen in TV shows all the time, and it's just the whole like, oh, I don't want to be with you. Oh yeah, I do. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. It's like, come on, like let's stop. I understand you have to like, you know, try to keep people's interest and shit like that, but. It happens in like a lot of shows, so it's kind of like, ugh, at this point. But, you know, they finally kiss. Pretty cool. Um, so, Maze says she's awesome. She is, to be fair. Yeah, she. I, I do like her. But she also let it spill that Dan had sex with uh, Lucifer's mom over the, the earpiece and Chloe heard. Obviously, that's what led her to not want anything to do with Lucifer in the moment because she was really upset. But, uh, yeah, I wonder how that's going to affect Chloe and Dan's relationship from here. I mean, I can't imagine it's going to change too much. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Like, it's just... They've been separated. Chloe is like obviously doing something with lucifer here right that we saw. but we also heard dan tell lucifer or uh, at least talk to himself in front of lucifer about how he has he almost regrets the separation even though it was his idea or at least the divorce because he still has uh, some feelings for her you know so that, that's where i'm that's what i'm thinking about when i say i wonder what's going to happen uh, Menadiel and Lucifer's mom. I don't know. What was her name? Th 
she's going by that lawyer's uh, name, right? Going, yeah, she's going by Charlotte. Yeah. Charlotte and Amenadiel still being sneaky fucks. Which is uh, which sucks because I, I do like Amenadiel. I think he's funny. He's a good character. But he's just... I, he's on her side with all of this. He wants to go back to heaven. I do love every time like she talks about sex or something in front of Lucifer or Amenadiel. Like the, the disgusted look. Yeah, he acts like a little fucking teenager. Like, mom, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great stuff. Uh, Let's see. We, we also had uh, involving the uh, the case that they were working on, like the end of it right here. They they never found out what the package actually was. Like it clearly wasn't just like cocaine or whatever uh, they originally thought. Yeah, for a sec, I thought they looked like blood vials. I don't know if that was just from like the the tubes and all that. That's what I thought it was. And I'm wondering if, what he did with it too. Like inject it or like snort it. I don't know what the fuck it was. I don't know what he could have possibly done. But obviously he was feeling some sort of effect after. Yeah, he looked pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah. And he was trying to leave on a fucking jet, no less, right? He looked like he was trying to escape on a jet. I wonder who that guy in the, the coat and hat was too. So that's obviously going to play out at some point. I wonder if he's going to be like a new main character or if he's just like the next case you know who knows <laughs> yeah I mean you do but I, I can't know yet uh I'm trying to remember what else happened in this episode that was significant to like the story I mean uh, Charlotte Lucifer's mom she went to his place and like did a complete 180 when it comes to like how she's treating the relationship between Chloe and Lucifer and what bothered what what like what bothered me um, before is how he just seems to be accepting that she's made this turn. Yeah, that's that's another thing about Lucifer. I think with like more so Charlotte than Amenadiel, he's more forgiving and is willing to give her a chance and just believes her. Whenever she does those half-assed fucking like oh um, you know those apologies or just 180s like you said like I don't I don't even know like she I, I feel like the whole court thing was like so outlandish on her part and so wrong that like it should have taken at least two or three episodes for him to even want to have a conversation with her but immediately all is forgiven I guess because she all of a sudden thinks Chloe's good after trying to bomb her fucking car. <laughs> well, Lucifer doesn't know about that part, right? Well, so didn't, it, was, it was a, a Menadiel that uh, found out about it. Well, no. didn't Remember, didn't she admit to wanting to... Like, I almost blew her up, and he's like, what? Oh, yeah, I did forget yeah, that was about outside, that. that was outside the court. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just kind of frustrating. But, I mean, Lucifer is going through a lot obviously living this human life so you can't be too upset because he has all these feelings and emotions that he's never felt before and if charlotte's just going to keep being manipulative i'm sure that's how she was you know in the what in hell or in heaven too so she's not really changing her character lucifer is the one showing growth and i'm hoping amenadiel does too and he kind of comes out of this whole oh i want to go back to heaven because like dude god took away your wings like why are you gonna <laughs> why what do you want to go back but i don't know that's just me well he, he wants to go back because he thinks that's where he belongs yeah like, he like you have to think that like even though he's come around a bit on earthlings amenadiel still sees himself like as a celestial being as a being above the people here yeah, he he doesn't belong on Earth with the mortals. Yeah, I see your point. I do I do want to see him and Linda though in more scenes. I feel like they need to start interacting more because I I thought when they introduced them together, that was a pretty good like couple kind of thing. No, you thought you thought they had good chemistry. Yeah, 
and like he went back the last episode right to kind of talk to her about uh the, the shit he did with maze but it's kind of less so with him and we're seeing more of Linda and Maze now, which is fine, but I do like Linda in the show and I wish she just had more of a role. Uh, but that's just my take. You got anything else? No, I think uh, we just about covered it. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the like button. If you're new, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you'd like, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a brand new video. And with all that being said, we will see you guys in the next one.